Okay, and we're live, everybody. We hope uh, we hope you liked the World Series of Fen slash wedding video. Sorry, we didn't get more pictures and videos. We were a little busy this weekend. Thank you to everybody that did send us. Uh, basically, what I used. Okay, what people and we're us. live, everybody. We oh, hope uh, we hope you like. All right, K Pro, take it away. Okay, well, we have I don't know about three things that's happening um, in the force bank community. And so we wanted to just, this is actually going to be a shorter video, um, because most of it, we've already been chatting. We've already been having some fun. Um, but, um, there was a few things I wanted to talk about some breaking news, if you will, but then also some, um, just I'm catching up. Um, so it might not be breaking news to you. It's breaking news to me. So I wanted to give some information out. Um, so let's first talk, um, this is the first time uh, yeah, Super Chat's on. Um, I will give an update about the Santa Fe package um, that will never get here. Um, I gave an update on Facebook, but I know a lot of you guys aren't on Facebook. Um, so let's start. Um, let's start with the, this is the first time since, so the, the treasure was uh, announced on June 6th. Um, as discovered and today is the first day that there is or this is the first time that we do not have any active court cases so the arizona case was dismissed um and it was dismissed there is a um nuance to it that i want to talk about in a minute um and then the other case the chicago case was or new mexico case was um voluntarily dismissed without prejudice. Um, and those are both going to be important because in the Arizona case, um, from what I'm understanding, there is the ability to refile in Arizona. Basically what they said was, you're not in the right jurisdiction that you filed it in Arizona because it's convenient for you is not good enough. You didn't make a good enough case of forest tie to Arizona. So the judge said you can refile though in the appropriate jurisdiction. Um, so that one is not out of bounds yet, or let's just say out of the, I don't know what the legal term is, but statute of limitations. So that one's still able to come back from what I understand. Um, the other case was dismissed without prejudice. When something's dismissed with prejudice, it means you cannot bring it back. Um, this one is dismissed without prejudice, which from what I understand, talking to a few people, total layman's, um, for me is there is a one year window to bring that case back. So even though the case isn't active right now, that does not mean it cannot become active, um, with a filed motion or case or whatever it is. So, um, we are basically on a one year clock right now. So though there's not an active case, we want to say, yay, but everyone's like, we're going to get more info because right now, I mean, it's over. It's not over. It's just delayed. Um, so there's basically a one year window that's happening right now. So anything you have to say about court cases, Mike? Nope, I'm actually going to be typing up comic books here in a minute. Yeah, so we're going through comic books, tens of thousands of comic books. And those of you that are looking for Wolverine, I have to tell you, I've jumped in just trying to get him organized a little because there's so many long boxes. There's over 50 of them. Um, there's lots of Wolverine. There's lots of Superboy, Superman, Hulk versus Superman, Spider-Man versus Hulk. I mean, you would be yeah, amazed. So many crossovers. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, crud. Tony, I promise you I'm going to try to do that. Rumblings and ramblings. Um, I need to get that up. And I've oh, said I got the so PDF much. back. Did I send it to you? No. Oh, we got the PDF back. So you can put it on Thor. Oh, I'm sorry. The PDF of Jack's emails, which is maybe not what you were talking about. It's different, but that just made me realize. Uh, shout out to Doug, who sent that back to us. He sent me the PDF. I'll get it to you to put it on Thor's Jack's responses. Okay, so both ramblings, rumblings and ramblings and Jack's PDF, somebody reached out and said, we know you've been busy. Can you just give us the file and we'll make the PDF that you can put up on Thor? Well, yes, yes, we can. Um, so um, we'll get both of those up. I'm sorry, Tony, thank you for always politely reminding me um, at this point, it should be come on woman, what are you doing? Um, okay, so that so let me give you um, two other updates. Again, you guys might be saying, 
um, this isn't breaking news, but for me it is. Um, there is a gentleman by the name of Robert, and he is not Robert X Man, Axe Man um, that we know him as. Uh, we know him as O up on Thor, which is hint of riches. Um, he is somebody who is from day one done analysis on photos. I've already talked about this once, but there's something a little bit more to this that I didn't realize. He has been trying to go kind of that next level of analysis. And I thought it was for him to be cut or for the analysis to be kind of um, not biased or kind of have an unbiased person. No, I've now corresponded a little um, with several different searchers, but also, oh, and I said, okay, tell me exactly what you're doing, why you're doing it the what, the how, the why. And I find something in truly fascinating. Um, Holly, if you could put the link um, to um, O's fundraiser, this is actually, um, I think, really fascinating what is going to happen. He is right now halfway to his goal. He is trying to raise $2,000 to do analysis from a professional, like a court appointed type expert in the field. And the reason that he's doing that is one, he thinks the photos have been doctored. I think many, many, many believe that. Um, those a lot more technical than me up on Thor, they have messaged me privately and said, oh, is not off. He is right. This has been photoshopped in some way. Photoshop is the, is the generic term, but it's really not the term. It's altered in some way. But I think Dale has done that before with the lighting or the this, or maybe that red cup shouldn't be there. So remove the red cup. Why, why is this a big deal? Well, there's two things that I just found out today. So I wanted to make sure to go live. Um, the first is we can actually through a professional analyst, see what areas of the photos were doctored and what doctoring or changes were made. So if it was lighting or a removal of a cup or whatever, from what I'm understanding, that detail will be known, which is pretty cool. But here's the one that I think is really important for the people. Yeah. Photo forensics. Um, that's like a technical term for people that like go to court and do this and they're expert witnesses. Um, so the bigger one for me is a lot of people were questioning the timing. I can tell you the timing is odd to me. He had smell the sunshine at his house that morning, this and that. So the analysis that is going to be done, even though the metadata has been pulled, these forensic people can actually tell what day those photos were um, taken. So, I don't think they can tell any other metadata, but they can tell the day that it was taken. That's going to say a lot if that picture was taken, let's say on the 4th, and then the picture of Jack is also on the 6th. Now, a lot of you are saying nothing burger. That's a nothing burger. And that's okay. But there's some people that say the dates are off. The timing is off. It doesn't make sense. The park wasn't open. I think it was. Um, the location couldn't have happened. Jack this, jack that. This, I don't think will help those of you that believe Jack, believe Forrest, and think everything's kosher. It will help a lot of the conspiracy theorists that say, did he really take that picture on that Friday? Did he really like drive leisurely down on Saturday? Did he really get to Forest on Sunday and then get into that area? Maybe it was either the 6th or the 7th that he took that picture. What if the pictures were from two months ago? Wouldn't that be, or two months before that? That will, this will put a lot of babies to bed, in my opinion. So. Yeah. Nomadic Madman, he says they won't be able to get the date of the pictures. Because if the metadata has been removed, I don't think you can forensically recover it. But I could be wrong. I'm by no means an expert. So, But it would be interesting to see if they can get the date or not, or the location. Well, I found it fast. I asked this specific question. Like, the dates? Are you sure the dates? And they said, even if the metadata has been wiped, this is what O has said. I'm not an expert at all. This is kind of like the court cases. I'm going to give you the information I have in good faith that I'm giving it to you correctly. But I, 
I don't know if it's exactly the case. I think it will be fascinating if it is. But here's the other thing that I have asked O is one, are you going to give us the actual person that does the analysis? Because I think that would be in, um, informational to know. That takes more of the conspiracy theories out of it. And two, will you give us the entire report? Not just the pertinent things that come up. Let's say they have 20 pages of findings. I'm hoping it's not redacted, et cetera. Um, yeah, like what if it was found in 2018 and those pictures are from 2018? I don't know. Um, Anyway, I don't know enough. Um, you know how you can delete stuff and then hard delete stuff versus soft delete stuff, all of that. Maybe the metadata that was wiped could or couldn't. I don't know. I just know this seems like a pretty interesting development. I know O has done it himself. Um, he obviously seems somewhat knowledgeable, but he also knows that he doesn't have certain expertise. So that is why he is working on this right now. I will tell you a couple of things. I do not know O personally. I've not met him face to face. I've corresponded with him for probably the last four or five years between Chase Chat and Thor. He is a known in the Forest Fang community. He's always seemed authentic. I don't agree with him all the time, but he does seem authentic. I can tell you that I have corresponded with um, Axeman, which is Robert, um, and family. Um, those two people are not the same. I know there was a little bit of controversy, wild and crazy party over at Greg's. I actually went into chat and said hello to everybody. Um, and I think it was Jason North Face that came up with the theory that the two people were the same. O came in, was like, you're accusing me of taking an ax to Forrest's house. He was upset, but he wouldn't come on, et cetera. I can tell you from what I know, I have not personally met the two people. I haven't had them in the same rooms, but they are two different people from what I know um, because I've corresponded with um, each, each entity or family. So, um, so the reason I'm bringing this up is O is right now to half of his goal. He hit $1,000 today. He's trying to get $2,000 for the analysis of the pictures. Um, up on Thor, there's several lively debates about this. Um, I'm going to say two things related to that. O is doing a very, I think, professional or appropriate questioning of the end of this chase. He's not calling anybody names. He's not attacking anybody. People are angry at him. They are saying, you know, he is questioning a veteran. He is questioning this and that. I've gotten more emails about O oh, right now than anything else of why are you allowing this on Thor? I'm allowing this because this is going to, I think, here's what I believe. I believe the analysis is going to show there's some lighting changes and the pictures are from the time frame that we're talking about. And it's a nothing burger. And I'm not going to think there's anything more. But you get a question the end of this. Why? Because it's a crappy ending. <laughs> because we didn't get the answers we wanted. And there's some people that are doing what they can to get their own answers. There are a couple of you that are so upset at me. I put you on timeout for a little bit. After the name calling, you come back. Name calling, come back. Name call. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's getting old. It is okay that O is doing this. I think it's okay to question the end of this hunt. Um, so O's um, link holy is put out there. You can donate anonymously. People are donating $5. A lot of people are donating $5. Just that every little bit will get him to his goal. I'd like to see him to his goal. Um, I've already told Mike, we're going to be donating. We haven't yet. Um, I have emails about Jack being strange about me asking him about the original photos on Medium. Yeah, so... I mean, that's all we have right now. So, of course, people are going to dig into that. Um, so, yeah, in general, I didn't even know that analysis could be done. Um, I find it all interesting. Um, and that's all it is. It is not degrading for us. For us, it said, you know, he's into the shenanigans. He's into this. He's into this. So, um, Holy just put it up again. Donate to the photo analysis um, I have asked O for permission to when he does get it out. I think he'll meet his goal eventually. Um, when he does get it out, can we talk about it? Can we show some of that analysis? I hope he says yes. Um, so 
if you have questions about it, you could definitely, he has all of his information out there. He's not trying to hide his first or last name. His name happens to be Robert. The X-Man's name happens to be Robert. Totally different last names. And that there's two brunette men that have goatees that some people are just lumping them in together. Silliness, silliness. No, he is not. And I don't know him to have ever broken into Forest House, any of those things. He's just somebody that's being thoughtful and he wants to get a professional to do some analysis. That's all. So do we know, do we know it'll be a third party independent person that analyzes the photos? Does it say in that description, which I haven't read, who's going to do it? Um, I have asked him if we will know the particular name. He has said that it is going to be, yes, that's what the money is for, is he's not making any profit. He's taking that money and hiring a person. He did say, and I don't, I haven't read all the details and I read some of them a while back. He's not analyzing every single photo. I think it's per particular ones that are, I think it's the one from the location. And then I think the other one is um, with Jack. Um, contributions are welcome to join the private zoom and take part of the decision making oh i didn't know that okay that's that's super cool maybe okay we'll donate we'll see oh there's no maybe we're donating uh, oh. um whether i do it out of my own money or our our money honey um we, we're gonna donate something um i just think it's interesting to walk through the process but again i think a lot of you that are happy at this ending it's just going to validate what you already know jack was the finder Nothing was truly manipulated. That was content. It was more just um, lighting, et cetera. Um, maybe a cup, that sort of thing. It was on the appropriate dates and that's it. So this is a nothing burger to many of you. Um, to some, this is going to put more validity to, is it a conspiracy or not? There's just too many people that are in that realm of, is it or is it not? Um, can we tell? if it was Forrest in the photos by his June 2020 haircut. Jeep girl, Jody, I saw Forrest late June. No, first week of July. Um, I believe it was definitely him by the hair. Cause that was one of the things I noticed. Um, I, I, I don't think, but yes, that I, I don't know if that's going to be a part of it, but I saw him, um, three weeks after the treasure chest had been found um, and was with him for, gosh, probably 45 minutes or so. Um, and I think it looked like he looked. Um, but this is what the $1,000 or $2,000 will say. These photos were modified here, here, and here. Thank you. Cha-ching. Nomadic Madman, maybe. I'm being told that it's more than that. But when it, why would certain things be altered and I mean, if it is lighting, let's say it's fine. Why would there be certain things in the treasure chest altered? Why would anything be altered? I would not be altering those pictures. So perhaps, but this would be, I just think it's informational. So I don't think he's doing anything harmful. He's questioning. And I think this ending allows for questioning. Um, my opinion, that's all my opinion. Okay. Anything else when it comes to, oh, so consider donating, consider getting it out to the community. Um, he's donating, or he's getting donations a little bits at a time, but he's already raised a thousand dollars. And I say good on him um, to, you know, try to figure things out. Um, he's not attacking or accusing or being um, negative and saying people are evil or terrible. He's just saying there's something to look here. Why alter post find? Right. I would think you wouldn't want to do any of that, but that's just me. Um, somebody did say, though, they know, um, and I've already questioned it, they already know that Forrest was really good at Photoshop. I didn't know Forrest really well on the computer. I had to set up a shortcut to Thor. I had to show him certain things on the computer. So I would not put him in the Photoshop category of a user that would know Photoshop. So that's just my opinion. They removed the special item from the photos for sure. Also, I'm, a, I'm on the board with the analysis. Just uh, let me update my resume. Um, yeah, so if there was an item that they didn't want shown, the legal documents, maybe um, they wanted out of the, I don't know, but wouldn't it be cool just to know a little bit more? 
Um, I don't say this, see this as the same as outing someone and having their safety questioned, et cetera. I see this as getting to the, to the root of the treasure and the treasure chest. Mike, any other comments? No, I'm good. I'm pretty tired actually. So I'm about to go to bed, but uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, okay. so I just emailed you the PDF. So whenever you can get it up on Thor, I just did just email it to you. Jack's response. Okay. This is the last thing. And then, yeah, I'm, I got other stuff to do because I'm going to be a traveling fool for a little bit. Yeah. Um, so let me give you an update on the Santa Fe package that I don't think I'll ever get. Um, so I called, um, my UPS store and said, I need everything shipped here. This is the last part of the saga that you guys heard about. And they said, we're so sorry. We had some turnover. We had some issues. This is, um, started in December and now we're in February. So they sent a package. Mike went and got it yesterday and he brought, oh, I, I just threw away the envelope. It, it was a little envelope. And I'm like, what is this? This is, they, it was package. And he's like, this is what I have. I opened it up. It had three letters in it. One of them was a little bit bigger, but then two little envelopes. And I'm like, what is this? And so I messaged them to, or emailed them today and said, what the heck is going on? There is no way this is several months of my, e I said, there's no way this is several months of my email. There is, or mail. There is a package from Santa Fe. They told me this. There's no way that could have fit in here. What is going on? And they said, that was actually just what you had. We gave it to you free since we had the package already together. You're expecting a bigger box. It has a package in there for you. And I said, give me the tracking number. They gave me the tracking number. It is actually in Illinois right now. And I said, why did I get this package and not the other one? And they said it was rerouted due to weather. And I said, fine. Okay. So I, here's, here's the funny part. I'm going to get it when I'm in North Carolina. <laughs> Here in Vegas. Yeah. So what yeah. we could do, k -Pro, is we could go live Monday night and I open it here live on the air and then show you what it is. Don't you think we should do that, everybody? No, no way. No, I don't know what this is. This could be a glitter bomb. I need to be here for it. I'm sure it's shenanigans. <laughs> be I don't know what it is. It's probably nothing, but I have a mystery package coming from Santa Fe. I will be here when it opens. Um, so it is going to sit until, I don't know. I don't know if it's forest. I think it's more shenanigans because I can't get my hopes up because that would just be silly. Um, anyway, uh, we are taking, um, I am taking suggestions of what it would be, um, up on Facebook and it's anywhere from a subpoena to a golden frog, to a mystery letter, to a legal document. Um, you never know. I don't know. I don't know what it'll be, but I did want to give you the update because this seems never ending. This is started in December. Um, yeah. So how annoying, but exciting. That's exactly when I was open, I was like, what is this has to be a job. You know what? From here on, we should actually just video every time we open anything because my goodness. So, yes. So that is all I have. Go ahead. Mike. I will say there is one more opening video we need to do because the poker table did arrive. And I think we have one or two other things coming this week. And uh, so we will have one more thank you video. And, and we, I want to thank everybody in the video. One more gift opening video. So thank you to everybody uh, that did send us something. We really do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you thumbs up the video. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do next week, if when we're going to go live, but probably whenever you finally get the package and open it, we'll probably go live and talk about it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Monday, I don't know. Right. I don't know if we're going to go live Monday. We'll leave that up in the air. I have some personal stuff going on. Um, I think by Thursday we'll go live. I don't know yet though, um, but definitely. Um, I do plan on going live over the weekend and showing some of the comic books. So the first video of Kalazars and K-Pros, comics, coins, cards, and collectibles is going to be this weekend sometime. Uh, I don't know if I'll go live or maybe I'll just make a video and upload it, but I'll give you guys an idea of all this stuff that's over here that I'm having a lot of fun going through. But boy, does it make your fingers dirty. All that comic book dust, it really gets in your nose. But uh, yeah, it's fun. Wolverine number one, found that so far.
So that'll be this weekend sometime. It'll be a surprise. Yeah. And coins I want to jump into too. Anyway, there's lots of things happening. Um, so anyway, I, I definitely want to say thank you to everybody. We want to get back to content though. We had WSOF. We had a wedding. We have lots of stuff going on. We have some mystery package coming. Um, I think it's going to be something silly. Uh, you know what? It, well, no, I'm not even going to say. It could be something from the bookstore or somebody send in something. Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll see what happens when it happens. Um, I do want to continue to engage with O. Um, if there's other, uh, we are going to do a searcher meetup. Um, we meaning the Royal, we, me, um, <laughs> this weekend, cause I am going solo. Um, so Mike will be holding down the, the home front, um, and doing lots of comic books, but I've been helping. I've been helping. I've been helping. And yes, coffee is involved in that title as well. Of course, of course. That is all I had. I just wanted to, um, the O part, I wanted to kind of push um, a little bit. Um, yeah. So, and Indy keeps saying, I'm at it. You're inventing things. You're inventing things in your head. I went into, just let everybody know, I went into the Seekers chat um, last night because it was Greg's birthday. And on birthdays and events, WSOF, Fembreeze, et cetera, we put all things aside. Um, I will say, it was lively. Oh my goodness. It was lively. So, um, I'm, Greg, I hope you had a happy birthday. Um, Albert, I am heading back home, which is North Carolina for me, um, until, um, I know more things. So, um, yeah, I'm heading back to North Carolina. So North Carolina meetup, um, Fendi's from North Carolina, Carter house husband diaries, um, Bill Kaiser. He works on Theodosia. He was, the, um, on AGK, um, Waverly, I think is going to be able to meet up. Um, there's lots of people, um, that are, that are hopefully going to be able to meet up, but I know it's Valentine's day. I guess there's a NASCAR race this weekend. Why they would put a NASCAR race and Valentine's day on the same day. Not good. Not good, but fine for me because I'm not around. So yes. Thank you. Traveling safe. I hope who is Greg, Tony Rusi. I don't know. <laughs> I won't say anything more than happy birthday to searchers. Groovy, Greg. What TV show? Groovy, Greg. What TV show? Uh, Brady Bunch. There's a Greg and Brady. Hey, K-Pro. Got the movie, the TV show reference. That's good. Okay. I was going to say, I only know Greg from, from, okay. I know he's the oldest. I watched a conspiracy, like behind the scenes, Brady Bunch. Did you know Greg and the mom? Like we're a thing for a while. Getting it on. Yeah, I did hear that. And the dad was gay. Right? That's I heard that too. Oh, I didn't know that. I just, and so now I know the name Greg. Um, mm. I didn't really watch that. But okay. Okay. So that's everything that's happening. All right, everybody. Thanks. I will go live sometime this weekend. And uh, yeah, and we'll go live with our regularly scheduled program next week sometime once K-Pro gets back. So thanks for turning, tuning in. We appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe. Yes. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you uh, maybe next week, maybe the week after.